my next guest managed to build a hobby and turn it into a business. And nearly 12 months after leaving her full-time job to run Art by Sophia, she has launched a second business, Katsumi. Let's talk Art by Sophia with the one and only Sophia Tchaikovsky. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. No worries at all. So why did you decide to make the move from hobby to business? I mean, I suppose one of them's quite fun and exciting, but business can be fun and exciting too, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, look, I think over the last few years, I've spent a lot of time reevaluating, you know, the long commutes to work, um, what brings me joy, you know, my goals and values and those sorts of things. Um, and my side hustle was going quite well. I transitioned it to part time and then moved it to full time. Um, and since launching full time nearly 12 months ago, I've sold over 11,000 products, putting me well and truly into that six figure business category. Incredible. So Art by Sophia sells a range of products, I understand. What are some of your best sellers and I guess what kind of art are you producing? Um, so I make a range of earrings for teachers and so grateful parents, grateful students are using this as a tool to show their appreciation for teachers for all of that hard work, heart and soul they've put into their classrooms, both online and in person. Um, so teachers are appreciating the earrings, the parents are appreciating them and I'm appreciating them because that flow of gratitude really starts with Art by Sophia. Incredible stuff. So have you remained true to your original passion of art? It's often heard that once you go uh, commercial or once you go into a business, maybe the heart of it goes. How do you stay true to your um, artwork? Yeah, so creativity has been my passion, my lifelong passion. Um, and I guess for me, it's about ensuring that I bring that into everything I do. So never did I think that my creativity would become my business, but now it has. I've had the opportunity to really grow my skills and my knowledge. Um, the other thing is Australian based um, or Australian made is really important to me. Mm. So Australian based manufacturing, which is also the current government is passionate about, it really allows creative businesses like mine to produce small order quantities. So I can put my artwork onto tumblers, onto earrings, onto masks, and make them available to the public as well as small businesses with no minimum order quantities. Yeah, incredible stuff. So your business has obviously grown significantly since launch. What have been one of your biggest challenges? I always like to ask people about the uh, challenges they've overcome. Yeah, the biggest challenge for me, and I think it resonates across small businesses, is really about scaling and growth. It's kind of like the chicken or the egg. Mm. Do I put on more staff to grow sales or do I grow sales and then put on staff? So it's this internal dilemma of which comes first, which is really dependent on the business. The other side of it is because I'm a creative business um, and it's very easy to get caught up in creating and making an artwork, is to really create a balance between my creative brain and my business brain to get that equilibrium right. 100% I'm sort of listening to you uh, and I don't know if I have that equi uh, equilibrium all the time when it comes to creative projects, but I can empathize 100%. Sophia, thank you so much for joining us on the program and uh, unpacking all about Art by Sophia. Thanks for your time. Thank you, thank you so much.